Well, today, everybody, in this video, we're going to be reacting to and trying Guitar World's 30 most difficult guitar techniques. Let's get into it. So what is going on everybody? Thank you so much for joining me for today's video. My name is Ryan, I'm a guitar player here on YouTube and this video is going to be a lot of fun, man. I'm having a great day here on Saturday, June 11th and uh, whenever I upload this, I just hope it's like a good video, man. This is a little different, a little left to center. But yeah, I was just browsing the internet, as you do, and I stumbled across this article that was posted this weekend, the 30 most difficult guitar techniques. So I started to scroll and right away, once I saw like number 30 and then immediately 29 and 28, I was like, hold on, this will be great for a video because I already disagree with a lot of these in terms of order. We're like, <laughs> we got a big giant gap already and we're only at 28. So let's start, man. Number 30, the trem gargles. So yeah, the trem gargles, right off the bat, everybody, um, I don't own a floating Floyd or a floating tremolo in general, so I can't really do some of these, but uh, I'll try to, you know, make the best of it, I guess. But number 30 is basically just like the flick, you know what I mean? The, the, the flick of the, you know, the whammy, you know, I, I can do that, but I don't think that belongs at number 30. Um, I know Dream Theater does this, John Petrucci does this, and uh, like under a glass moon, I believe in the solo a little bit. It's a common thing, you flick it and, you know, it makes like a wah, -wah sound. I don't think that's in the top 30. I mean, I think I could have did that on day one of playing the guitar. 29, sounded like a violin. So they use the cathedral um, example. I would agree, that's pretty challenging, but basically it's just like a volume swell really, really fast. Let's, let's try it out here. Kinda. I mean, not in the, not as good as the example of Eddie Van Halen's Cathedral. That's hard, man. So uh, yeah, I think that definitely belongs on the list. Staying in Eddie Van Halen land, we have the elephant noise. So I'll try my best here. Let's let it rip. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> that ain't it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds more like an ambulance than anything, so yeah, can't do that one. Lizard down the throat. Okay, this is pretty easy, but basically you... You basically just keep the same pitch as you go up. Yeah, that's... I don't think that belongs on the list. Maybe, I mean, pretty easy. Controlled feedback. Uh, alright. Twenty-five pinch harmonics. Oh man, that's only twenty-five. I thought that'd be like top ten. <laughs> they're my favorite, dude. The fact that they're only twenty-fifth. Oh, I don't agree with that at all, dude. Number twenty-four, two-handed tapping. Oh, bring it back, my youth. Piece of cake. 23, combining legato and picking. <laughs> I mean, I think that's easy. Combining legato and picking is just like when you run out, of, run out of gas, just, you know, do a little flick of the wrist. Ah, uh, yeah, it's pretty hard because it's like trying to figure out when to come in. I think that's pretty challenging. Sideways vibrato, 22, get real, dude. Who, I'm just kidding, who am I to say my sideways vibrato is any good or bad? Or I don't know. I've, I think that might be like my second time ever trying that. It's a really subtle effect. Do I think it belongs on this list, in my opinion? No. 21, thumb fretting wide stretches. Jakey Lee like would used to play with his thumb and do crazy stuff. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm not even going to try, but <laughs> it's pretty wild. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say I can't do that. 20, odd note grouping. So I watched this video and this example prior to making this video. I can't play it because of copyright stuff. It's kind of like in the wah section of the solo 
and all along the watchtower. It's hard to explain. Is it hard to play like Hendrix? Yeah, I'll just leave it at that. 19, fretless guitar. It's probably really hard to play. I've never played one, never owned one. 18, tap harmonics. <laughs> Basically, you just need a lot of gain and a lot of, well, a little bit of finesse and just like kind of let it ring out as if it's like a normal harmonic and just tap ever so gently. There we go. I could use a little practice on that. <laughs> 17 open chords. Yeah, right, dude. Open chords. Moving on. 16 hybrid picking. Yes, very hard to do. I can't do that. Um, yeah, it's... I can do the lemon song uh, with Zeppelin. <laughs> I can do that. <laughs> that counts. Travis picking anything acoustic should be like top three. Mike shows an example of what this is. I'm not even going to attempt it. I cannot do Travis picking. Raz, I forget how to pronounce that, but like it's like the. It's just that. It's like. Obviously, I'm really good at it. <laughs> it's that technique. I can't do that. Uh, moving on. Alan Holdsworth and Eddie Van Halen's wide stretch licks. Yeah, so they give the example here of Ice Cream Man. Yeah, I will definitely agree with that. Here's a horrible rendition of Ice Cream Man, the solo. Really hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I cannot do that. Um, pseudo slide, nah, I can't do that. That's got to do with like some whammy bar techniques like pulling up to like different intervals. Can't do that, never tried it. Acoustic tap, slap and tap. Can't do that. Three note per string pentatonics. Not like Paul Gilbert, I can't do it. No, so I can't do that. Microtonal slide, can't do that. That looks gnarly, that wild fretboard. Harp harmonics, I can do those. There it is. Basically, you just like flick, you pick the string essentially and like harm, do a harmonic with this finger, but this is, this is the one plucking it and it's really challenging. Yeah, this definitely belongs on the list in my opinion it's, I, it's really hard legato number seven i mean with the picture of steve i i'm sure that example is insane but like ain't too hard depending you know i guess the land you come from I learned a lot of legato with like three note per string, you know, major scales and stuff like that. That's kind of like what I learned with the major scale. So I kind of have those under my belt. String bending or j joint shifting? String bending, like one string. Ain't so hard, but doing the joint shifting, i.e. the Steve Vai kind of new technique you created a couple years ago. Yes, really incredibly challenging, and I don't even really understand it, but to the best of my knowledge, it's like bending into tune, and you like start at a tune, but like while holding a chord, or like bending into a chord, if I got that, I don't even know. <laughs> I can't do that. Eight finger tapping, yeah, I can't do that. Not <laughs> Moving on. Sweet picking, uh, depending on the time of day, sometimes. <laughs> Not really. I mean, with a lot of practice and like many takes, I can kind of, you know, phone my way through sweet picking. So I definitely think that that belongs on this list. As high as number four? Yes, probably too. I mean, we're talking about two different things here. A lot of like acoustic guitar techniques and electric guitar techniques. Thinking how to make this article better, I think you should have like maybe separated the two because like we're comparing apples to oranges. Like, because like now we're at number three, alternate picking. Like, I think that's one of the more easier. That's pretty easy in my opinion. Economy picking, kind of like pushing through as opposed to just, as opposed to just alternate picking. Oh. 
Yeah, I think that belongs on here. That's really challenging. I, you know, I cannot do it fast at all. Um, I know like all the shredders, like Jason Richardson really does economy picking really, really well and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just like trying to just save time as opposed to constantly alternate picking. You can kind of get faster uh, runs, I guess, just by using economy picking and pushing down or up. I like it better up. I'm kind of better up, I think. But again, it's very hard. Do I think it's number two? Ooh. For an electric guitar, yeah, probably. But number one is bar chords, everybody. Number one hardest guitar thing, according to this Guitar World magazine, is bar chords. I'm sorry, I disagree with that. That's really easy to do. Bar chords, yeah, they're challenging. And again, on an acoustic guitar, certainly much more challenging than compared on a Fender Strat with nines. Like, do I think it's number one? No, because I learned that very chord progression, the Stairway to Heaven chord progression at the end when I was 11 years old on an acoustic guitar. So, kind of a bummer um, that when we get down to number one, this is the hardest guitar technique. I don't know, the act of like harp harmonics, just the act itself is incredibly more challenging than like, I don't know, like a, an A major six string bar chord. Like, I feel like, like I said, apples to oranges here. So in terms of like, I don't know how well this video is gonna turn out, but in terms of can I do these techniques? I mean, a decent amount of them, right? <laughs> I'm not so bad. So I'll leave it up to you guys as a sort of challenge, if you will. Can you do any of these? Let me know your thoughts, if you can do them all. Do you think the ranking's way off? I personally think the ranking's a little interesting to say the least. But anyway, man, I just had fun hanging out with you guys making this video and I hope it does well. Uh, very interesting video, but I just wanted to just hang out and share this moment with you all. With that being said, I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay metal. See you guys next time. Later.